Hello everyone, Patrick from B Squared. Today's video is going to be showing you guys how to visualize your telemetry from iRacing here in MoTeC. But first off, we want to thank all of our fans and subscribers for checking out our page always. We really appreciate all of the feedback and comments and engagement that we've had on social media. And with all of you buying our book, we've sold so many copies now and we're very, very proud of it. And without further ado, let's get to our tutorial here. Super duper simple. All we need to do is download Mew. And for those who don't know, in engineering terms, mu is actually the Greek variable used to describe friction. So if you ever hear something like split mu testing, that usually refers to somebody having two different friction coefficients on both sides of the car. So that's basically what mu is. But anyway, let's get back to the tool. Pretty much all you need to do when you open up the tool, it's pre-filled already with the correct directories for all of your telemetry. So wherever iRacing saves your telemetry, it's going to be saved there. All you want to do is uh, auto-save the telemetry, which is this button over here and then you are simply free to close mute. No! Next, you want to download MoTeC i2. Very simple, literally just Google MoTeC i2. Click the first link and scroll down to one of their most recent releases. So you can choose either the Pro or the Standard. And then next, all you need to do is go into the iRacing telemetry folder, which is usually located in Documents iRacing Telemetry and then click on one of your data files. Now you're going to see a few files populated here. Every time the game exports data files, it's going to be coming in three different file types. You want to click the MoTeC log file. The MoTeC log file has the little one with the red icon. Click that one and then it'll open up MoTeC. Then here you are in MoTeC and you can go over to different channels, add different variables that are collected on the car. The biggest advantage of sim racing is that it carries so many forms of data that we can't usually get on a street car. Usually street cars don't have things like shock potentiometers. Uh, some of them don't even have like the steering angle sensors. So the sim is good in that it gives you a lot of data and it's high resolution. It's coming straight from the sim. You don't have to worry about, um, you know, faulty sensors or anything, sensor noise. All of the data is uh, super precise. And basically you can analyze whatever you want. You specifically look at your steering, look at your braking. If you guys don't know how to analyze your own data, you can always come to us to help you out with that from a motorsports consultation. Log on to our website, we have our offerings there. Otherwise hit the subscribe button to our page. We will be posting more videos on our YouTube channel regarding data analysis, which will help you guys in terms of you know analyzing your own data. Thank you for watching and have a good night. See you at the track.